All right, we're at the Van Burkle Open, and uh, we're playing um, like a round robin game, a oh, round robin like tournament thing this weekend. Um, it's three thousand points. You can only have uh, one. You, your your general has to be on a on a monster with more than four wounds, and you can only have one um, cannon slash stone thrower. So there's a lot of monsters, a lot of flying things, and it's three thousand points. And so my opponent is Chris. And do you want to go over your army? I've got a unit of four skull crushers, a exalted hero riding a disc, hiding behind the music train there, a unit of hounds, uh, halberd corn warriors, chaos lord riding a dragon, war shrine with a level two zench wizard riding a disc behind it. An exalted hero riding the disc, a unit of five hounds, 50 great weapon corn marauders, hell cannon, a unit of hounds, and 18 additional hand weapon warriors. Alright, on my side I have uh, Vargolf, a unit of dogs that vanguarded up a little bit, spirit host, <laughs> unit of uh, 45 ghouls, uh, 20, uh, 20 zombies with. Um, Musician Standard and the two wizards in it, two necromancers. A corpse guard with my level 4 general on it. 30 skeletons, 38 grave guard with two white kings in there. Um, dual terror geists, unit of var geists, and spirit host. And um, Warriors of Chaos got first turn, so we'll get back to you after turn one. So we just, um, the Warriors of Chaos just went first, his whole army just went forward. So there's um, no Warshine behind the building. No, you um, it's all of his characters flew over onto this flank. Uh, the stone crushers came up behind the hill. And yeah, everything just kind of got bottlenecked into this little area right here. Um, uh, in his magic phase, I dispelled his. Uh, what was the first spell? Pandemonium. Pandemonium. And then I scrolled his flickering fire. So nothing happened in the magic phase. In the shooting phase, his hell cannon shot my terrorgeist. Direct hit, doing three wounds, and we are off to Vampire Counts turn one. So we just finished Vampire Counts turn one. Um, my charges were Vargeists into his hounds, which he fled, and um, Spirit Hosts into those hounds, and my dogs into the flank of his dogs. In my movement, I flew my terrorgeist over to here and flew this terror geist over to here, to the side of his dudes. Moved my uh, ghosts up to the side here, and um, just kind of removed my army, just kind of forward, making sure that he can't land onto my, um, my corpse guard. And my Vargolf is holding off the flank. Um, in, the sh in the magic phase, I got to heal my terror geist up by two wounds and give everybody in here ASF and pull out his dispel scroll. But in the shooting phase, my terror geist took that guy off anyway, so it was, it was kind of good that he just used the dispel scroll there. And um, my terror guys over on this side did five wounds to the skull, skull crushers. And we are. Oh, and in this combat, I won by one, didn't do any wounds, so they're still there. And in that combat, I won by. Um, I won by two, but he's, these guys are still there. And then they did a reform to maximize. So we are off to Vampire Cat. I mean, uh, Warriors of Chaos turn two. So we just finished Warriors of Chaos turn two. Um, his skull crushers charged onto my spirit hosts. Um, these guys moved up. Both the disc hero and the general charged into my terror geist. Um, his warriors charged into the flank of my dogs. And the disc guy that was there just flew over onto my uh, dual flank here. Um, his altar rallied and his dogs didn't. And they're about like two, three inches away from the board edge. Um, in magic, there was none. So I just got to store two dice because I have the black area. And in the shooting phase, he dropped the hell cannon. He tried to drop it right on my corpse cards, and it went off four inches this way and hit nobody. So, and um, the in shooting, he gave those guys stupidity with his war altar. So everything's just going up, warriors of chaos. In the combat, this disc guy. Oh, I my um my terror guys had ASF, and his dude had ASF. I did one wound to his disc guy because I put all my attacks on him. He had um, three attacks, uh, hitting me on threes, re-rollable, and missed everything. And then this guy, his general on top, was hitting me on threes, 
and missed everything. Okay. Oh no, he hit me, but then failed to wound on four pluses. His dragon ended up doing like carrying that team of doing three wounds. <laughs> and then I ended up crumbling, so he didn't get the overrun. And um, these, this fight right here just did nothing. Nothing happened. I'm still holding up his marauders, and those warriors just biffed my dogs. Um, and his skull crushers biffed my um, my spirit host, but. Uh, they, I made it sure that on the angle he wouldn't hit my Vargeists, so they had to overrun, and that's where they are. So we are off to Vampire Counts, turn so two. Finished Vampire Counts, turn two. Um, my terror guys are up where those dice are. Um, my charges were Vargeists into the flank of his hero, and that was all. Oh no, and this Vargolf over here into the rear of his dude on the disc. I needed a big 12. As you can see, I did not make it. In the... Um, oh, my other stuff is I just kind of shimmied around a little bit. Um, in the combat phase, shooting phase, sorry, I did um, eight wounds to his skull crushers, and so they popped. Um, in the magic phase, I had 12 dice to, to Chris's six. I failed to cast every single thing except for my curse book at the starting. So these guys have, um, he's got the Curse of the uh, Midnight Wind on him. And in combat, my Vargeist took two wounds, but they did one wound to his hero that already had a wound taken off him before. So he, he died, I only overran six, and we are looking like it is... Uh, Warriors of Chaos turn 3. Alright, so we just finished uh, Warriors of Chaos turn 3. Um, his uh, Frenzied Warriors charged into my Vargeists. Um, the Dragon and the BSP charged into the flank of my... or charged into the front and flank of my uh, Ghouls. Um, these dogs marched around my um, Spirit Host and these guys just kept moving forward. Um, in the Magic Phase, nothing happened. I get to store two more dice. The Hell Cannon dropped it onto my general on the corpse cards. I can... Oh, there, he would have lived that time, but um, he took five wounds because his four ward didn't go off, and the corpse card also got blown up as well. Um, the rest of the shooting, he gave the Marauders plus one strength. And in this combat, I ended up losing by 23, so the rest of my ghouls popped. And they ended up doing 14 wounds to my Vargeists, so he just chopped them up to bits. In the crumble tests, my Terrorgeist took three wounds, my Spirit Host took a wound, and my Corpse Guard finished crumbling. Um, it, didn't, it, got, it lost three wounds from the, the Hell Cannon, and my, uh, I lost seven skeletons. So we are off to Vampire Counts turn three. So we just finished Vampire Counts turn three. Um, my Graveguard charged into the rear of his warriors, and my Vargolf charged down the hill after his BSB. My wizards tried to leave this unit so I can do a 12-inch bubble dance to get into the skeletons. And um, I, I rolled a piddly 13 on my four dice, and then Chris got a 16 on his four dice, so that ended that. Um, that should actually be four more skeletons in there, and five more zombies. Um, in the combat, Ghost did nothing. Fargolf came in, did one wound, got stabbed back three times, cannot make a four of regen to save his life. And my Graveguard, I lost eight Graveguard and um, wiped him out to the man, but then only overran four inches. So I'm an inch away from his stupid ass general that I really wanted to get that charge in. And um, we are off to Warriors of Chaos turn four. Let's finish Warriors of Chaos turn four. Um, his general and his uh, dragon charge in on my one Necromancer. His dogs charge in on my Graveguard. And all of the stuff just trying to get into this little bottleneck. Um, in magic, nothing happened. Shooting, he missed, and then gave his dogs plus one toughness. Um, in combat, I killed his dogs. He didn't do any wounds back. I reformed to look this way. His BSB got three wounds on my Vargal. I regen two. One of them was a cocked one in between four and six. I rerolled it. It was a two and he died. Um, 
So then his uh, Chaos General did, only did one wound to my Necromancer, and then the dragon ate him, and then he overran into the front of my skeletons. And we are off to... Oh, and my ghost killed a dog, but they're still there, so hooray! And we are off to Vampire Counts turn 4. Vampire Counts turn 4. I uh, charged my Graveguard into his uh, General, and charged my Zombies into his BSB, and flew my... Um, my uh, terror guys over here and move my other wizard close to here. We nothing happened. Oh, I got a 12-inch bubble heal off. I just threw six dice at it. I got like a 17. Chris threw his five dice at it, get, getting a uh, 16. So it just goes off, heals up my terror guys, gets some guys in my units. My ghosts kill a dude. His dogs still stick around. He beats down my zombies. I end up beating him by my musician, but he sticks around. Um, in this fight, uh, he kills like 13 Graveguard plus my White King with the enchanted, like with my plus one the hit sword. And then I throw all 16 of my uh, Graveguard attacks into his his general, getting two killing blows and two wounds in. His uh, two killing blows, he rolled a one and a three. So one of the killing blows went through, killing his general. I still ended up losing by three, but um, that is, I, I'm willing to accept that. And we are off to Warriors of Chaos turn five. So we just finished Warriors of Chaos turn five. Um, his warriors changed into the flank of my ghosts. And his dogs made it back around to this side. Um, in combat, I ended up winning by one here again due to my musician. And I ended up winning by three here. And he got, um, he needed the five on his second attempt and he got it. So his uh, Chaos Dragon is still there. And that's essentially all that really happened. We are off to Vampire Counts turn six. Oh! Sorry, he tried to shoot his hill cannon at my Terrorgeist, and it went 10 inches off this way, hitting nothing. But yeah, we are off to Vampire Counts. So that was a very fast Vampire Counts turn 6. Um, all I did was to see if my General can march, or my Necromancer. My Magic Phase, I threw 6 dice at 12-inch Bubble Heal. Uh, Chris threw uh, 5 dice, he dispelled it. Uh, my Terrorgeist screamed at his dragon, and his dragon died by a lot. So all my guys are just kind of facing this way. Um, in here, I lost combat by one. He punched down my zombies. So we are off to Warriors of Chaos turn six. <laughs> so we just finished uh, Warriors of Chaos turn six. We had a huge rule debate if that uh, hail cannon could see this dude, because you can just see like his candles and stuff. Uh, where is he? There he is. And so he got a direct hit, and then so we did like a four plus on everything. We got like five people to look at it. Uh, he ended up hitting it, and the 4 plus made him hit him, so I got my lookout sir, and then he rolled a 1 for the wound, so none of it even mattered. And in combat, his none of his guys made his, their charges, everything charged in on my grave guards, and those warriors failed, which caused his um, world to fail, and his dogs still made it around to my flank of my zombies, but... Um, those dogs also charged in the flank of my graveyard, and I sucked ass with it, so uh, they didn't really kill anything. Um, I ended up losing by one. No, I ended up losing by four of my zombies, and I beat the dogs that ran off. And we are off to Vampire Counts turn six. So we just finished Vampire Counts turn six. Um, my terror guys flew over to his general. I charged the flank of his dogs with my skeletons, and charged his dogs over there with my graveyard. I, um, uh, I yelled at his BSB, doing three wounds to him, and he made all three with his four board saves. He has one wound left. Um, the skeletons did one wound to the dog, he did three wounds to my zombies, I ended up beating him by one due to the BS, uh, to the musician, and he stood there. So we tallied up all the stuff, and it's just a difference of 43 points in my favor, so it is a draw, because we were just using the win-loss draw. So, um, it was a great game, it was a bloody game, things were getting taken off turn one, and uh, yeah, get back to you after the next game.